Innovation for Waste Minimization. This is a Becca Solvent Saver Model HC 6 gallon distillation recycler made in the USA. This series is also available in an SC version which has a 3 gallon capacity. Phase 1 Loading the Recycler To begin the process of the recycling the waste solvent, install the proprietary thermal reclaiming bag. To install a new thermal bag, begin by removing the stainless steel lid on the heating chamber. Now remove the retaining ring from its seating groove on the inner wall of the chamber. Install a new thermal bag leaving some overlap to make sure the bag fully conforms to the bottom of the chamber. Install the retaining ring into its seating groove and fold over the thermal bag making sure the condenser, intake, opening and solvent loading pipe are clear of any bag obstruction. If the recycler is part of a Becca combo, load the recycler by placing the loading valve in the on position and fill the chamber to about one inch below the retaining ring. The recycler can process one to six gallons at each cycle. If loading the chamber is done manually, simply pour the solvent to be recycled directly into the chamber, again to a maximum of about one inch below the retaining ring. If Becca's complete cycle hazardous waste neutralizer is used, add it to the used solvent at the, this step in the process. The 6 gallon unit requires two measuring cups of neutralizer, and the 3 gallon model requires one cup. Now secure the lid. Check to be sure that the empty container is properly in place to receive the clean distilled solvent and that the ground strap is clipped to the attached to the metal container. To initiate the process, push the red on off button once. The system display will scroll through, set temperature, set time, and elapse time, and will continue to do so during the entire recycling process. Phase 2, the distillation process. During the distillation process, the waste-laden solvent is boiled, creating vapor which carries across the air-cooled condenser and converts the late vapor into liquid. The liquid is discharged into the clean solvent container. This process leaves behind the solid waste material which was present in the used solvent prior to its distillation. The amount of available solvent recovered in this process can be as high as 99%, depending on factors such as the type of solvent, type of paint, volume of paint in the used solvent, and the time and temperature setting of the distiller. As a general rule, the purity and content of the blend of the recycled solvent is directly related to the blend just prior to distillation. Phase 3 Shutdown, Cooldown, and Thermal Bag Removal and Disposal. When the automatic process is complete, the unit will shut down and the system display will begin showing only elapsed time. The condenser fan will continue to run for 10 minutes. We recommend the lid not be removed to access the thermal bag until the chamber cools down to 170 degrees or cooler. To read the chamber temperature, simply press the red on off button one time. The temperature will be displayed until the red on off button is pressed again to start a new cycle for the next batch. Becca recyclers are shipped with factory preset temperature and time settings, and in most cases do not require any parameter adjustments. Instructions for readjusting settings can be found in the operator's manual or by watching a brief instructional video at www.beccainc.com. The resulting still bottle will range in consistency from a slurry to a marshmallow to a hockey puck hardness. 
This is dependent on the types of solvent, types of paint, the volume of paint in the used solvent, and the recycler settings, time, and temperature. Innovation for waste minimization.